Typhoon Taraji unleashed floods, knocked down trees and caused power outages in the northern Philippines before weakening into a tropical storm and blowing out to the South China Sea, officials said Tuesday as they braced for another approaching storm. The Philippines has scrambled to deal with multiple calamities wreaked by four back-to-back -back typhoons and storms, including Taraji, that devastated the northern region of Luzon, including vast farmlands and communities, in less than a month. A brewing storm in the Pacific may strengthen into a typhoon and hit the country on Thursday, forecasters said. There were no immediate reports of deaths from Taraji. Authorities were still clearing roads blocked by fallen trees, electricity poles and small landslides set off by Taraji to allow the passage of food packs and other government aid and to rescue those who might be stranded in far-flung villages, officials said. Disaster response contingents, including army troops, police, and the Coast Guard, have been struggling to respond to the aftermaths of the successive typhoons and storms, but President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. assured People Friday that help was on the way to communities battered by Taraji, locally called Nika. Schools were shut and inter-island ferry services and domestic flights were suspended in provinces in or near the path of Taraji the 14th weather disturbance to lash the Philippine archipelago this year. The Philippines is battered by about 20 typhoons and storms each year. It's often hit by earthquakes and has more than a dozen active volcanoes, making it one of the world's most disaster-prone countries. <laughs> Grabe oh. Eh okay, grabe na oh. Grabe yung giniwang bakas ni Typhoon ni Nika. A new typhoon barreled across an agricultural region in the northeastern Philippines on Monday after thousands were evacuated to safety while still struggling to recover from the devastation caused by three successive storms in the last three weeks. Typhoon Taraji slammed into northeastern Aurora province and was forecast to blow over the mountainous Luzon region, where President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. just the day before inspected the damage from the last storm and led the distribution of food packs to residents in Cagayan and Ilocos provinces. Marcos skipped this week's Asia-Pacific Cooperation Forum in Peru to oversee recovery efforts from back-to-back -back storms. After making landfall in Aurora on Monday morning with sustained winds of up to 130 km per hour and gusts of up to 180 km per hour, the typhoon was expected to barrel northwestward across Luzon, weaken as it crosses a mountain range and then blow into the South China Sea. Interior Secretary John Vic Rimula on Sunday ordered the forcible evacuation of people in 2,500 villages expected to be lashed by Taraji, locally named Nika, warning that the rain-soaked Luzon mountains, valleys and plains were more susceptible to flash floods and landslides. The military said its disaster response forces have been deployed near high-risk areas and were standing by for new contingencies. It added that it suspended combat drills in the north due to the weather. Schools were shut down, 
inter-island ferry services and domestic flights were suspended in provinces in or near the path of the typhoon, the 14th weather disturbance to batter the Philippine archipelago this year. Forecasters said they were monitoring another brewing storm in the Pacific that could affect the country if it strengthens. The last two typhoons and a tropical storm caused more than 160 deaths, damaged thousands of houses and farmlands and affected more than 9 million people, including hundreds of thousands who fled to emergency shelters, after dumping from one to two months' worth of rain in just 24 hours in some cities and towns.